Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout scheduled in the lightweight division, scheduled for three three-minute rounds, and first to make his way to the glory ring. This South African talent smashed his first two opponents on the world stage. Please welcome Laurent Nelson. They call him LT Smash, a 50% knockout ratio, and he's only got one thing on his mind. Turn this into a street fight. Yeah, absolutely. He's taking this fight on short notice. Josh Johnson was uh, originally supposed to fight E. Tiger Sean, so LT Smash knows that he has a big opportunity, and he's not going to take that for granted. He's going to go in, bring a lot of pressure, and just try to make this an awkward fight against the technical Johnson. Yeah, Gershon suffered a broken rib in training, had to withdraw. And Lawrence T. Nelson had no doubt, no hesitation taking this fight against Josh Johnson, who will be the heavy favorite. First millionaire kickboxer. Wait for it. Here is Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson willing to do whatever it takes. He likes to flash out some spectacular offense every now and then. Because once Johnson gains momentum, that's where he starts putting combinations together and looks amazing when he does it. Johnson has him wobbled. And another knee there from Josh Johnson. Oh, and that knee connects as well. Oh. Josh now starting to take over. I consider myself the future of the sport. He did it, Josh Johnson, back on track. His career has been made against some of the biggest names in the sport. Making his 16th glory start, here is Josh Johnson. Explosive, dynamic, unorthodox, does whatever is necessary to win. Joe, he's had some tough decisions not go his way, but all in all, he's probably the most decorated fighter out of North Korea or out of North America fighting today. Yeah, he's such a good structured kickboxer, and he's just so talented. And he came to glory at 21 years old and started fighting the big names right from the beginning, the Giorgio Petrosians. He's had two fights with Sitachai Sitsong Pinong. So he's still young, he's still talented, and what's scary is he's still getting better. No one has had more glory fights from North America than Josh Johnson. This is his 16th glory fight. Here's our tale of the tape for this lightweight showdown. Johnson, 5 foot 11 with a 69 and a half inch reach advantage. Nelson will have a 5 and a half inch reach edge. Let's see if he can use that to his advantage. He'll need everything he can get tonight as he squares off against number five. Yeah, professionally experienced big edge for Josh Johnson, even being the younger fighter. And even with those 39 fights, 52% KO ratio, but LT Smash, known for that awkward come forward style and finishing abilities himself. Rules, we've got three rounds, three minutes each. Punches, kicks, and knees are legal. No elbows, throws, or sweeps. Three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight is a TKO. And the belts are gonna be scored using the following prioritized criteria, starting with knockdowns, followed by cumulative damage inflicted. Then we look for clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques over normal scoring techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges look for aggression. We have open scoring tonight. Three judges will score the fight on a 10-point must system. And the scores will be shown after each round on your screen. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. Trained in MMA and kickboxing, he makes his fourth Glory start. His professional kickboxing record, eight wins with just one loss. Four of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet even, 1.83 meters, he weighed in at an even 154 pounds, 69.9 kilos. Here tonight, fighting out of South Africa by way of the mile-high city of Denver, Colorado. Here is 
Triple T Smash Nelson. Let's go, buddy, let's go. His opponent, opposite the ring and fighting out of the wide corner, one of Canada's toughest competitors and two-time Fight of the Night Award winner. His professional record, 29 wins with 10 losses, 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, he weighed in at 152.2 pounds and even 69 kilograms. He's here in Miami tonight, fighting out of Vancouver, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Josh, the Nightcrawler, John C. And the third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Andrew Glenn. Tell me you got the rules. You have any questions? No. Oh. Follow my instructions. Protect yourself. I tell you, stop or break. Do what you mean. You understand? Yeah. Touch it right there. Step back. Ready at the bell. If there's one thing that Lauren T. Nelson can hang his hat on, it's that Jossie struggled against the unorthodox brawler Elvis Gashi getting knocked out. Nelson employs a similar style. You're going to see LT really try to mix his stances and come forward. And he's always a dangerous opponent. He's fought guys with more experience in the past, so that's not new for him. But it's, can he handle that structured kickboxing of John C? It's very technical. Nelson in the black gloves, John C in the white, fighting out of Vancouver, Canada, which just recently approved kickboxing. Yep, it's huge for us. Still waiting for Ontario, but we got one province ready to go. It's just incredible that somehow box, kickboxing has not been legalized in some of these provinces, even though MMA has, and obviously boxing has. Okay, we started, Mr. Grisham. Nelson, born in South Africa, currently fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Smart move for John C. to stay patient. Kind of feel out Laurent T. What a win this would be if somehow Nelson could pull it off, beating the fifth ranked fighter in the world at lightweight. Johnny, uh, I'm sorry, Josh Johnson coming off of a tough loss against the Johnny Bastadi, who ended up getting a world title shot after that. You know, Johnson motivated to, to get another title shot himself. Yeah, a lot of people thought Johnson won that fight. Stop! Big brouhaha afterwards between the two camps. I have a feeling they're going to cross paths again sooner than later. Absolutely. Meanwhile, John C with a nice left hook. John C in this camp spent some time in England with uh, Bailey Sutkin's camp, Dean Sutkin as well, working on his boxing, changing up his sparring partners. Nice left hand from Nelson. On paper, this is a fight that Johnson wins 39 times out of 40. Yeah. He's the experience, the technical, but Ron T is just has that awkward Stop. style, so he can give a lot of structured guys some problems. But watch for John C's knees, one of his best weapons that he has. And already, when you see Nelson coming in, Josh has thrown a few already. Nelson's also had 14 MMA pro bouts and seven boxing pro bouts. It says kickboxing is his favorite discipline. And I asked him about his amateur experience. He said he had no amateur kickboxing experience and only one amateur boxing fight. So all of his fights have been professional. And eight fights later, he's fighting Josh Johnson. <laughs> Insane. Nice start to round one here for Nelson. He may be winning the round. Yeah, I just think the damaging shots are coming from Josh. But LT's pressure is going to pay off. He's trying to use those kicks. Can't make it a clean fight. Nice stick and move there from Johnson to end round one. And that knee coming right at the bell. Yep. One of his most dangerous weapons. He's split a lot of chins with that one. Josh Johnson, nicknamed the Nightcrawler. A recent nickname he picked up. Someone said, hey, you look like that Marvel guy, Nightcrawler. He said, I love it. Start calling me that. 15 of his 29 wins have come by knockout. And he has a couple of fight of the nights and performance of the night awards. Okay. Keep your hands up. You got to get your 
His opponent, Laurent T. Nelson, representing yeah. South yeah. Africa. Nicknamed so LT Smash, signature strike, that flying knee. He trains with glory veteran Justin J. Ho Houghton. Stay jabbing. Wish he was here. You look fantastic, bro. Just missed the mark at the bell. Round two, we'll see how those judges saw the first round. Stop! Stop! Fight! First fight of the night here, 368 Miami, lightweights, Josh Johnson, number five, against unranked Warren T. Nelson. One judge gives it to Johnson, the other two to LT Smash. Rising. I mean, I just feel like they're valuing that forward pressure, so Nelson's got to keep that up. He's got to keep getting in there, not backing up. Keep walking forward. Find out what kind of physical condition Laurentine Nelson is in because he's got to stay on the front foot, which is hard to do. And he keeps landing that inside low kick on Johnson. Oh! Big right knee from Johnson. Sit LT to the ground quickly, but he's back up. Yeah, he squared him up with the kick and threw that knee right up the middle. Well done, Josh Johnson. Like a lightning bolt from the Nightcrawler. And now Nelson's got to be in a little bit of survival mode here. Johnson now going for the finish. Went right for that head kick. How did Nelson get back up that quickly? And what happens is when you walk in and you stay square, you're really open to knees just like that. And he's just... Keep walking forward, here comes Josh. Boy, Johnson wants this finish in the worst way, but he's gotta be careful, because Nelson has plenty of pop in his punches. Blood now coming out of the nose and mouth of LT Smash. Nelson is still dangerous. Just when you think he's out, he moves his head and he counters back. Nelson getting a little wild though and wide with those punches. Pretty even on strikes. In fact, dead even 39 apiece. But Johnson does have the knockdown. Nelson keeps walking forward. To defend the knees, you gotta stay out or try to keep Josh really backed up. Spinning attack from Johnson. Hard punches. Body shot from Johnson. Nelson still pushing forward. Got to give him credit. Absolutely. I'm, I'm surprised he's even standing up still from that knee. Always moving his head around. Keeping it off center line. Another big right knee to the jaw. Johnson. Nelson did his best to work his way back into this fight. So he will go to the third as they throw hands after the bell. And Josh Johnson said he can't be stupid. Like he said, in some of his fights, he gets carried away. He said that himself, so he's got to stay clean. Subscribe to Glory's Snapchat channel with new weekly episodes featuring bone-crushing knockouts, event recaps, along with the best highlights in combat sports. Finding it is easy. Just type in glorykickboxing.com and hit the subscribe button. Knockdowns like this, Joe. Yeah, perfectly set up. Josh used that left kick to square up LT and then threw that knee right up the middle. See it? Boom, left kick squares him up. Right knee right up the middle. Beautiful, beautiful setup to that right knee. Doesn't get better than that. Let's go. Hands to kicks, buddy. Let's go. Well, if Nelson can win this round, Joe, we might see a fourth. Surely the second round was 10-8 for Johnson. What does Nelson have left? I can dare just miss it. Johnson does not. He just keeps coming forward. He doesn't seem to be worried about Johnson's knees at all. LT 
he is he's landing some good knees to the body when he gets to the clinch. And he just ate a right hand. John C. again trying to kick that lead leg out to land his knees. Good uppercut from Nelson. He's doing well with the hands, tries a knee of his own, which John C. blocks. Oh, got him coming in. How about Nelson rising to the occasion here in the third? Absolutely. And knee to the rib cage for Nelson. And John C. needs to stay technical. He doesn't want to go punch for punch. Keeps the structured style. Nelson splitting the guard. John C. trying to box with him. That may not be the wisest decision. Yeah. Nelson just le keeps landing the uppercut. Stop. Keeps throwing hooks, mixes in the uppercuts as Josh is shelled up. Yep, another uppercut from Nelson. Josh going back to that inside low kick. Instead of mixing the knee now, he went uppercut. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first fight of the card. Plenty more to come. And anytime LT Smash fights, it's going to be a nice battle like this. Taking on number five in the world. A minute to go. Nice high kick. And a big knee right to the rib cage from Nelson. He's answering back, Joe. Everything Johnsy's throwing. Yeah, he's definitely got a strong chin, that's for sure. I like Johnsy's right head kick. He's kind of cutting down on it. Remember, Nelson took this fight on short notice, but you wouldn't know it. Strike slanted from the knee. Nelson doubling Johnson. Oh, good counter left hook, but Johnson may have something going on with one of his legs. Does not look quite stable. He's trying to create distance, take his breath. Another knee from Nelson. Johnson lands a couple of hands. He lands a punch. Oh. with a big left hook from Nelson. What a fight here in Miami. What a battle. And that will do it, or does it? Will we see an extra round? Incredible action here from the James L. Knight Center. The official decision when we return to South Florida. We welcome you back to Miami. The first time Glory has ever been to this city, and what a start we're off to, Joe, after that battle. Yeah, I'm, LT Smash was a lot tougher than I think all of us expected. He just really stepped up to the occasion and brought the fight to John C. Getting off the canvas in the second round after a massive right knee to the jaw from Josh Johnson. As we look at our highlights, from what could be the fight of the night already. Yeah, first round was really close, very technical back and forth, and Josh Johnson was able to get this beautiful knockdown in the second, kick the inside leg out, mix the knee, but he kept going for these jump knees, but that didn't seem to slow down. LT Smash continued to come forward, and especially in that third round, he found some good punches and kicks. You know, Josh was still there, staying defensive, countering back with his punches, and even Josh would probably have to be surprised that LT Smash took the punches that he did and continued to come forward. But great fight from both gentlemen, leaving it all in the ring. Indeed. Final strike count. As you can see, 93 strikes landed for Johnsey, 90 for Nelson. So, so close. Obviously, it took Nelson more strikes to land those 90. Strikes by round. Very close again. Could have gone either way except for that second round knockdown for the Canadian. Here's Tim Hughes. After three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. All three of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same. 29, 27, a unanimous decision. All for your winner, Josh Johnson. All right.
right, I'm here with your winner, Josh Johnson. Man, what a tough fight. How you feeling? Man, I knew he was going to be a tough fight. I've seen his fights before. He's got a hard head. Um, you know, I need him. Got me that wicked knee in the second round. I thought, ooh, I think it might be done. But no, it wasn't. And after that, everything else, you know, seems to bounce off him, no problem. So he's a tough guy. Everyone, give a round of applause for Mr. Smash. Very game opponent, yeah, he's going to do well. Um, but yeah, what can I say? How did you feel your performance was? <laughs> out of what? Up to you, man, let us know. Ah, that was a, a two out of anything, you know. I, the knee, I had imagined landing that. I threw the inside low kick and the right knee. I had already thought of doing that. And it did land, it worked like I wanted it to. Uh, well, I wish he stayed down. But um, yeah, other than that, it was a very... Uh, crap fight for me, but yeah. Well, it was an exciting one for us. Let's hear it for your winner, Josh Johnson. Hey, thanks to a lot of the people over in Vancouver. We've now got legalization of pro kickboxing in Vancouver. So I'm very, very, very excited for that. And I hope, I hope we can see Glory Vancouver at some point soon. Please, Glory, please. Let me fight for the title. All right, Josh Johnson. And there's his patented backflip. Well done by Josh Chauncey, outlasting a very tough LT smack. Well, still to come,